Hello children, once again I welcome you in history online class and we are doing uh, chapter 11 the rise of fascism in Italy and in my previous lesson I had explained you about the causes, what were the main reasons which forced Mussolini to become the prime minister in Italy and later the king also started supporting uh, Mussolini because he knew that if he uh, would not be able to support the fascist party or Mussolini his own regular army would oppose him because the regular army had sympathy with the fascist party and Mussolini and as we had seen that how Mussolini uh, one after the other tried to uh, compensate the problems of the country, how he took up the leadership in his hand and uh, he started uh, setting up the industries, he started uh, improving the agriculture and he also uh, took in confidence the working class and the farmers which were was the main support of Italy and later when socialist party they wanted to convince the labor class he opposed and as a result the socialist party declared the journal strike in 1922 which was controlled or suppressed with heavy hands by the fascist party. Now today we have to see that after uh, taking prime ministership that what steps he had taken to improve the economy, to improve the position of Italy. So we have to discuss today the main economic and domestic policy of Mussolini. So there are many points. So one after the other I'll try to explain you. So if we see the first point, the main first point or due to that the uh, whole problem was started in Italy was the financial problem. So first of all what did he do? He uh, controlled the budget and currency. So a settlement, a balance was made by Mussolini uh, between the budget and the expenses and the value of currency. So this was the main thing uh, which was uh, started by Mussolini. So for this if we see the second point these two points are correlated. How did he control the currency and budget to get the foreign money right and not to expand much on the export right so he convinced the people to be more independent for that he controlled the import import of wheat import of rice and import of other commodities on which the italian people were dependent he stopped that so the budget can be balanced, right? So first of all, he reduced the foreign imports. He uh, made efforts in the coming point, we will see how he made uh, the people independent to grow their own crops. He, how did he help the people by providing facilities in the coming point, we will see. So to control the budget and currency, first of all, he reduced the foreign imports. Two things would be solved. One thing, Italians would be independent. And second thing, the unemployment problem would be solved. Then the third point it says, he developed which places shipping for export iron, steel and silk. These productions were developed. So due to that when steel, when iron, silk and shipping will be increased or developed, so it will help in the 
uh, export uh, system and due to export the Italians would be uh, independent enough to earn the income. Then it said main thing how to reduce the foreign imports he improved agriculture and industries. So the agriculture field, agricultural facilities were provided to the Italians. For example, uh, agricultural credit banks were opened up where, from where they were easily getting loans. Moreover, uh, the irrigation department was in, uh, improved. Then more uh, new techniques, agricultural techniques were uh, given or the people were made aware of the new techniques. And uh, we can see that more uh, important fertilizer seeds all were provided to the farmers so they can grow uh, their own wheat and crops and other things rather to be independent on the foreign products. Moreover, industries were set up because uh, the iron steel already was available in the country. So industries, more and more industries were set up by Mussolini in which the war material was also uh, manufactured. And here it says that because there was too much unemployment problem, so this problem was also solved. So this credit also goes to Mussolini to uh, provide agricultural facilities to improve uh, the especially the rural area of Italy and to provide the electricity, to provide uh, irrigation facilities to the people. Then it said later PWD department was also set up, public work department. And you know what is the main work of public work department to uh, build roads, to maintain roads, uh, to construct railways, to construct bridges. So it will be easier for the people, uh, not only for going and coming, but it will play an important role in the trade field also. Then if you see the changes in the constitution and local government, this was the another weapon was used by constitution by the Mussolini. What changes were made uh, by Mussolini? Because when he became the prime minister, so uh, he made some changes in the constitution. And in these uh, changes, he declared that only the PM is responsible to king and rest of the cabinet is responsible to PM. Are you getting? PM is only responsible to king and rest of the cabinet ministers will be responsible to PM. And they were not allowed to uh, uh, just give any kind of speeches, any kind of ideas which were against the rules of Mussolini. Means in this way he was very strict and he made some changes in the local government also. All townships were uh, ended up and uh, any new uh, names were given by the king or some other authority that was also ended up. Means there was all over rule of Mussolini and the opposition uh, parties or the or people who were opposing the rules or laws of Mussolini, they were strictly handled by the Mussolini. Then here it says next, censorship to control the power in the country, to become the dictator in the country, he censored. Not only press, press was not allowed to publish 
any magazine any newspaper and they were also not allowed to uh, just uh, publish any kind which was against the fascism or fasci party because if any press was publishing anything against the fascism or fasci party that means they were uh, directly opposing the mussolini and which was not tolerated by mussolini so not only the press was censored but the radio and films any news any speeches any uh, journalism any film which was uh criticizing the fascism or uh, throwing any stones on the policies of mussolini were not allowed the next point says control educational institutions that this side also mussolini diverted his mind because according to him if people would be educated enough automatically the country will prosper so many educational institutions were set up and the teachers were and the professors were uh, forced to take kind of an oath that till they are working in these educational institutions uh, they will not oppose any kind of uh, think of fascism rather they will support mussolini and moreover uh, the uniform was fixed the teachers were forced to wear uniform uh, on that the fascist party symbol was there and this kind of uh, attitude was there towards the teachers and professors uh, in the educational institutions then the main point is the papacy the papacy means uh, the uh, clergy the religious uh, group in that the priest high class priest also come the pope also come what type of relationship was there between the papacy and the mussolini so uh, the in the beginning what changes were made in the constitution what rules were declared by mussolini uh, they all were okay but later the papacy had a fear that mussolini will take up the catholic religion also and there would be interference of mussolini so they were not ready to accept the dictatorship of mussolini so there was bit clashes between the papacy and the uh, mussolini but later when the uh, 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 negotiation was made between papacy and uh, the mussolini so papacy allowed uh, that italy uh, would be and considered the rome would be considered uh, a capital of italy and vatican city was also de- declared as an independent uh, place independent country by the mussolini and you all know vatican city where the pope lives uh, that particular area was declared independent and Uh, the pope was given a proper compensation because he was no more on the sea but uh, a proper uh, compensation and amount was given to pope so this kind of uh, relationship was there between mussolini and uh, papacy and later mussolini supported uh, christianity or catholicism and uh, in schools also it was made compulsory the christian teaching should be given later he was supported of catholicism why because this catholicism was used in the political field as a helping hand to the authority either you say to the prime minister or to the government of mussolini this catholicism was used as a, a weapon as a proper helping hand 
in the political use. So here it says that later when uh, Mussolini uh, started having cordial relations with the Pope, with the clergy and the papacy, entire papacy of Italy. So this was a big support to whom? To the authorities. So in this way, uh, Mussolini uh, won the hearts of the people because in all the fields he did so much. His policies, domestic policies and economic policies were excellent and very soon Italy started uh, counted as a uh, good country, prosper country uh, in the European field. So it was all efforts made by Mussolini to remove their um, un, uh, employment problem, to remove their uh, import system. He made uh, the Italians independent by improving the agricultural field, by setting up more and more industries, by introducing PWD department in which the people were getting jobs and they started living their life comfortably. So this was the Mussolini uh, efforts which were made, uh, we can say, for the comfort of the Italians. And in this way, Italy started counted as a proper place in European countries. So this was the chapter and today I am going to give you some questions to write and tomorrow we will start the next chapter by the time you start writing the answers. And in between, uh, time to time, I will uh, give you some uh, revision videos also. So you have to watch those revision videos also in which I have discussed the questions and answers. Till then, stay safe and happy.